guys welcome back to my channel just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video so we're going to be using my square extra short soft gel full nail covers in this video and you guys know these are available for purchase in my etsy shop but i'm just going in and sizing them out first and making sure that they fit my nails wall to wall if you're like in between nail covers, if you come across a size that's either a little bit too big or a little bit too small and there's like no in between, you can just go in with the emery board or nail file and kind of shave down the sides and readjust it to make sure that they fit your nails wall to wall perfectly because you don't want one that's too small or too big. As always, the link to these will be down below in my description. So we're going to be doing like the milk bath type of nail. Um, I think that nail trend kind of went viral a while ago, but we're going to be using some dried flowers. And this is a little nail art stand that I purchased off of Amazon. And it's magnetic, but all you do is take the putty. And I believe I had to purchase the putty separately. It might have came with it though, so don't quote me. And if not, then I'll just be sure to find a kit that includes everything. But you just apply it to the stand and then it just makes doing nail art so much easier. But all I'm doing is going in with some top coat and then I'm going in with some tweezers and just, you know, strategically applying those dried flower pieces. And we're going to be using a milky white poly gel. This is by Beatles and I absolutely love it. Then we're also going to be using the Model 1 Slip Solution. I typically use alcohol because it's just cheaper and easier for me, but I ran out. So I'm just using the Slip Solution. And yeah, all you're doing is going in and putting like a pea size amount in your nail cover. Sizing is different. It just depends on how big your nails are, but... I'm just going in, putting a small amount in there, and then flattening that poly gel out. You just want to make sure that you kind of fully hit wall to wall and that your cuticle area is thinner than the rest of the nails. You do want to be sure that you're spreading that poly gel to cover the full nail cover um, because you can have some gaps if you don't really extend it to the whole nail. And after applying, if any excess squeezes around the cuticle area, you just want to be sure that you're removing it with your poly gel brush before curing. It's just going to make your life so much more difficult if you try and do it after curing with like a file or nail drill. So just be sure to remove any excess beforehand.
So now we're going to go in with a lint-free wipe and some alcohol and just wipe down our nails before we begin filing. So here's what the nails are looking like. Now I'm going to go in with an 80-80 grit nail file. This is also available for purchase off of Amazon. And then I'm going to file my nails. You can do a lot since this nail shape is pre-shaped for you. There's not much filing. If you like a really straight like square tip, then you can go for that. Some people like their edges kind of curved a little bit. So that's just the main part that you have to focus on. Um, but that's the beauty of full nail covers. They just literally make the whole nail process so much quicker and easier. And if you do have problems shaping, cause I definitely do, it helps out with that so much. And even if you don't have problems shaping, shaping in general can just take entirely too long. So that really just cuts that whole process out for you. So for our top coat, I'm going to be going in with this No Wipe Top Coat by Nails Cat Cat. This is a subtle glitter top coat, and I'm just going in and applying that to my nails. This is definitely one of my favorites. I just love how like it's really a subtle glitter, um, and I'll be sure to have the link to this down below. And lastly, we're going to go in with a cuticle oil. This is also available for purchase in my Etsy shop, but I'm going in with my scent lavender today and then just applying that to the cuticles. You want to make sure that you invest in a really good hydrating cuticle oil. It's just super important and it just helps tie in your whole nail look. So here's the final results. This was actually super easy and a super fun design. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!